Before getting into the video, I do want to say one thing, and that is I know this video might come off as repetitive. I totally get that because I have done this video many, many times before, but this is just an updated version of those videos that I have done. I also added a few new things in this list. But this video is mainly for new subscribers and for people that are just starting to adapt a minimalist lifestyle. So please, please keep that in mind in the comment section. So this is something where when you declutter your makeup, you also realize how much money you wasted and also how many makeup items are going onto your face that are really, really old and can cause eye irritation. It can cause skin problems and many, many other problems when it comes to putting expired makeup on your face. I used to be that person to never want to throw away my mascara back then. Back when I was like 21, 22, I used to wear expired mascara and I always wondered why was my eyes so itchy and why was my mascara smelling like fish? I was using old mascara so I'm glad I learned my lesson and did my own research so do your own research you guys and if you feel iffy on the makeup that you own like you do not remember when you opened it or purchased it that's a sign to get rid of it old shoes this goes for shoes that you don't like to wear that cause you pain this goes for shoes that are just not your style anymore, shoes that have holes in them. Try to separate the piles, the ones that you don't like because the color and it's just not your style. Those are the shoes you can donate to others instead of them going into the trash and in the landfill. Unnecessary waste when other people can get use out of those shoes. And then you can have the other piles where they're old, <laughs> they have holes in them, they cannot be worn ever again. Those are the ones that need to go in the trash. And then you can have a pile with the ones that you like but don't fit you well. You can resell those shoes. So there's tons of apps, Macari, Poshmark, where you can resell the shoes that don't fit you so you can get money back and get a pair that actually does fit you. So make some kind of money too buy your next pair of shoes. Skincare, this goes for expired skincare, skincare that's not working for you, skincare that makes you break out or causes a bad reaction. Those are the things you want to get rid of. Give to people that you know that doesn't have sensitive skin like yourself, or like I've been saying, whatever is old, then discard it right away because you do not want to put expired products on your face. Trust me. Hair items. This one is pretty big because I recently got rid of my um, curling wand that I've had forever. I want to say since I was in my early 20s, I finally got rid of it because I've been wearing my hair more natural and also been using um, like the heatless curlers. So I've been trying to have my hair be a little bit more healthy and not have like fried ends anymore. I did cut my hair, cut like five inches off and I promised myself that I wasn't going to use any hair items that caused me damage. So obviously not everyone is like that, but when it comes to your hair items, go through the things that you're not gravitating towards, the things that you have duplicates of, give them out, throw the things that are broken out, and yeah, you can save yourself a ton of space just by going through hair items. I used to be a huge hair junkie back in the day. I had the sock bun. I had so many sock buns. Um, I had so many elastics broken. I used to like the, br the broken ones when they snapped because I have a lot of hair. When they would snap at work, I would take them back home and then like try to put a knot in them to make them last even though I had a bunch of other hair elastics so yeah just go through your hair items get rid of the things that you aren't using get rid of the things that are causing your hair a lot of damage and hair loss there are a lot of hair products that do cause hair loss just keep that in mind that not all hair products are healthy for your hair wires need i say more when it comes to wires get rid of the ones that are old that you have no purpose for they're just sitting in a box and my boyfriend still goes through this he has a ton of wires that he needs to declutter but you know just giving him some grace <laughs> because it is a lot when it comes to wires you might think oh i might need this in the future even though we do not use like like for iphone users apple switched the usb to a lightning cable so when it comes to USB cables, even though they do fit, they don't work as well. Like I tried charging this phone a couple weeks ago with a USB cable because I forgot the lightning cable in my boyfriend's car and it took like 
eight hours to, for my phone to be fully charged. Compared to the actual cable you're supposed to use with this phone, it only takes less than a half hour to fully charge. Yeah, cables make a huge difference. So definitely go through the cables that you are not using. Clothes, same thing when it comes to shoes. You wanna declutter your clothes. Um, you know, the things you don't like to wear, the things that make you feel blah, um, the things that you do like to wear but have lost their color that are shrunk. It's time to empty out your entire closet and go through everything. Take a week, take a month to go through everything. Do not think that you need to go through everything in a day, but this is something that is going to save you space, money. It's going to also save you time. It's crazy the amount of time you save when you have a closet filled with clothes that you actually like compared to a closet filled with clothes that you hate. And then you're constantly going through tops like, nope, don't like, don't like. And it takes you about a half hour to an hour to figure out that one outfit you want to wear because your closet is filled with clothes you don't like. So it's definitely time to empty out your closet, empty out your drawers and go through every piece of clothing you own including underwear socks bras i used to have a ton of bras that served no purpose any junk that is lying around in your car old candy wrappers old cliff bar wrappers or any kind of protein bar wrappers out any garbage period throw it out any random items that don't belong in your car it's time to declutter all of those and have the things that you need in your car like washer fluid, a snow ice remover. That's what I have because I do live in a colder environment. Um, just things that you need in your car, like glasses. I have glasses in my car because I need them to see while driving at night. Um, things that you need, keep in there. You know, just random things that are in your car. Toys. I've talked about this before. When it comes to toys, I have learned so much with like the kids nowadays with my niece and my nephew and then my boyfriend has a niece and nephew they're all around the same age and they do not play with toys so they have a room filled with toys my niece doesn't have toys anymore she's gonna be 10 so she's really into like tiktok and things like that but my nephew has a room filled with toys he's always playing like on the phone or on the tablet so toys is something you definitely want to declutter get rid of the things that they don't use anymore donate them to kids that will use them or get better use out of them instead of those toys just being stuffed in a toy chest in your son or daughter's room forever until they get older and you just end up throwing them out so always always donate things that aren't broken furniture that you're not using i'll give you a little example with myself i used to have a nightstand you guys can go back to my old videos i had a it was like a half wood, half white nightstand. Towards the end of 2018, I ended up getting rid of it because it was empty. I had no use for it. I would lay my phone on it every now and then, but the drawer was empty. So I decided to declutter that certain furniture item and I gave it to my niece and she got amazing use out of it before it completely fell into pieces. I think it was like in 2020, it fell into pieces because she was using it, getting a lot of use out of it. She was putting her books on it. And I'm happy that she got use out of it because it was literally just sitting beside my bed with nothing inside. It was just there to look cute. And I know not everyone thinks this way, but for me and my boyfriend, we truly believe like having furniture in the house, it has to serve a purpose. It's not just gonna sit there. And also when you're in an apartment like myself, you have limited space to work with, so it's best to have furniture that you're going to get use out of. Outdated technology, any kind of old phones you do not use, it's time to discard them. When it was time to get rid of my old phone, I ended up sending it back to T-Mobile and they discarded it properly because these phones do have lithium batteries in them. So don't just throw them in your trash. Try to properly get rid of them. But yeah, not just phones, old TVs, things like that. You want to get rid of if they're not working anymore or if you have no use for them. Magazines and books that you're done reading. If you're done reading these magazines and books, it's best to donate them to your local library or you can donate them to a school that you once went to. Storage units. Now it's definitely time to declutter these storage units. The average person in America spends around $314 on pointless items. I'm talking pointless items from Amazon or just Im impulse buys, I should say, instead of pointless items. It's impulse buys, $314. It is 
insane. And most of the stuff that people buy end up in the storage units, which cost you an additional $200 to $300 a month. So if you have a storage unit, it's definitely time to declutter that unit, save yourself some money each month and say goodbye to storage units. It's crazy how like the other day I watched a documentary. I forgot where I watched it, but in the U.S., we have the most amount of storage units out of every place in the world. Like that is just insane. And that is also because that Americans, we love to buy things. We are over consumers. And I mean, I'm guilty of that too back then. I'm glad I learned. Um, but it is, it's very alarming when you see the amount of money that people are spending on impulse buys. Sport gear you don't ever use. That's something you can definitely donate right away. I mean, a treadmill that you're not using, you're actually using it for a coat rack. Hockey sticks and you don't play hockey. It's definitely time to declutter those items that you're not getting use out of. An excessive amount of dishes. Tupperwares that you do not use. Um, water bottles that you have too many of. Keep what you need, keep the amount of your family size and maybe a couple guests, but I guarantee you there's quite a few dishes that you could declutter this new year. Canned food, this is something where it can kind of like not cross your mind when you're decluttering. I know I was always taught that canned food lasts forever and that's not the case. So yes, canned food does last a long time, but you do need to keep that date in mind because eventually it will expire whether it's two to three years from now, sometimes our canned food just ends up way in the back. And that's why I like to purchase canned foods that we're actually going to consume and not just like random canned foods to have for emergencies. So always purchase canned food items that you are going to consume and that you like instead of purchasing the emergency nasty canned food items. Um, I've seen a lot of people purchase like canned carrots. They don't like them, but they're keeping them for an emergency. It definitely defeats the purpose of having something for an emergency. You kind of want something that you like instead of something that you don't like. Unwanted Christmas gifts. You know what I'm talking about. The candle that your grandmother gave you or the sweater that your grandfather gave you that you're not going to get any use of and you just keep it because you feel bad. It's best to give those items to someone that's going to get used. I know I sound like a broken record, but trust me, it's better than just sitting in an attic collecting dust. And by the time you do go through it, it's just going to be too old to give to someone else. So go through those unwanted Christmas gifts that you've been holding on for years. Do not forget to declutter your email this new year. I know I have been going crazy with decluttering a lot of junk mail, things like that. I empty out my email box at least once a week to make sure that I have no junk mail pending or anything like that. Also, you can unsubscribe to like store emails like Kohl's and Victoria's Secret. If you have a shopping addiction, there's always a, like a little unsubscribe box up top or way at the bottom. You can just press that and then you'll never get that email ever again. So it's always good to declutter your email section just as much as it is to declutter your, your text messages and your phone calls. Do not forget about your email. I know this one is common sense, but I wanted to add it in here just in case for those of you that need it. And that is expired medicine and vitamins. All of those things expire just as fast as skincare and beauty products. Not also do you want to declutter the things that go on your skin, but you want to declutter the expired things that go inside your body. Kitchen gadgets you never use such as the onion peeler, the garlic peeler, those kind of random kitchen gadgets you never ever use, donate them. It's definitely time for those items to leave your kitchen and never come back inside your home again. Socks that do not have a match, it's time to let them go. I have been so guilty of keeping one sock for an entire year, hoping that that other sock would come around. I don't know where these socks go to, I've said this before, but there's some kind of party that we do not know about where these socks and underwears go to and they just, they never come back. They run away from home. So my thing is if a sock doesn't turn up in like three months, I get rid of that random sock. To me, it's pointless to just hold on to one sock for years and years, hoping that that other sock will come back home. It's, it's so silly. Storage containers are bins that you are not using. Again, another common sense item, but we do forget. We forget that, you know, there's bins in the basement that we haven't used forever or 
the attic has a ton of bins or storage containers, like random little containers that you used to use a year or two years ago and you don't use them anymore. It's best to donate them as long as they still have their covers and there's no holes or they're not melted. Um, it's best to donate them to someone that's going to get use out of those items. So this is going to be a tough little subject and I'm not going to talk a lot about this because I've talked about it before, but I wanted to just add this into your decluttering of 2023. And I know this is so weird to say this, but I'm just going to say it. And that is friends that do you no good. There are some friends that are causing you more harm than good. And I know you have a couple people in your mind right now as I'm saying this, the ones that are horrible listeners and they just want everything to be about themselves. Um, the ones that aren't there for you in tough times, but they want you to be there for them in tough times. The ones that take full advantage, that, you know, take full advantage of your car or the things that you work hard for. The ones that will beg you for money. The list goes on and on on how different scenarios are with certain friends. And the best thing that I did was I stopped having friends and I focused on myself. I know everyone's story is different. Everyone's situation is different. And I'm not telling you to live the life that I'm living. But I am saying that when it comes to friends that are doing you more harm than good, it's time to let them go. Let this be the new year that you start to make new friends or you just focus on yourself for once. So I will have a video up here about my story with friends and things like that. If you guys want to check it out, it's a little bit more in-depth conversation. But I definitely wanted to mention this and to let you guys realize like what friends are real friends and what friends just aren't your friend. And the last thing is an excessive amount of throw blankets, pillows, etc. Anything that is just too much that you're not using, like when you get to bed and take off those extra pillows. I've been there. Trust me, you can go back to my first videos and I used to have like eight pillows on my bed. Yeah, I ended up just taking them off at night and sleeping with one pillow. It's crazy how much money I wasted, but I learned a valuable lesson that when it comes to pictures online, what they're showing, it just might not work for you. So the throw blankets and the throw pillows, and it's easy to have an excessive amount of them because what's being advertised to us, what's being advertised is like, oh yes, more is a beautiful. Like having a bed filled with pillows that looks so much comfier than a bed with just three pillows. Honestly, if I, if I live by myself, I would just have one pillow. Those two pillows over there are my boyfriends, but I'm good with just one pillow, one blanket. Um, we have two blankets because it is two people. We have our own blankets and we do have a throw blanket on the couch and that works great when people sleep over. So we do have some family members that sleep over every now and then and the throw blanket works great. So, and we do have a one throw pillow on the couch. Um, but moral of the story is that what we have works for us, but um, yeah, so I know I'm rambling. But basically what I'm trying to say is do what works for you. If you find yourself pushing off all those excessive amounts of throw pillows and blankets, pushing them away, it's probably something you don't need in your house. It, it probably is just another obstacle just as much as the extra furniture is. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm wishing you the best of luck on your decluttering journey in 2023.